plants have tiny pores on their leaves called stomata, Greek for mouths, through which they take in carbon dioxide from the air and from which water evaporates. New work from the lab of Dominique Bergman, honorary adjunct staff member at Carnegie's Department of Plant Biology, reveals ways that the systems regulating the development of stomata in grasses could be harnessed to improve plant efficiency and agricultural yield. More than 30% of all the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere passes through stomata each year, and in exchange, plant stomata release water vapor equivalent to twice the amount present in the whole atmosphere. As such, plants exert a tremendous push-and-pull influence on the global climate and are particularly attuned to climate change. What's more, stomata have been found in fossils dating back 400 million years and are features of nearly every land plant alive today. Stomata can take on different appearances in different kinds of plants. Most of what we know about how genes shape stomata comes from studies of one model plant, Arabidopsis, a relative of broccoli and cabbage. This is very different from the stomata of the grasses studied in the current research. The decision to study stomata in grasses was made because these plants are economically and environmentally important, and because grasses show unique innovations that make their stomata much more efficient. Grass stomata have a dumbbell shape instead of the kidney shape found in most plants. Further, grasses have their stomata aligned in rows along the leaf blade, as opposed to the more haphazard distribution on broadleaf plants. Some scientists have speculated that the shape and distribution of stomata in grasses are the reason for their tremendous evolutionary success. It was a mystery whether all plants use the same genes as Arabidopsis to produce stomata, or whether all the different stomatal forms and patterns result from each plant using its own unique set of genetic blueprints. Bergman's team was able to unravel some parts of the regulatory system that turn certain genes on and off, which determine how grasses control the number of stomata to make, where to put them, and how to generate their distinct shape. Surprisingly, these differences don't occur because grasses use unique stomata genes, but because they use the same genes as other plants in different ways. This can be thought of as similar circuits of components, but with different wiring, so different genes are in charge of others. What's exciting about these findings, says Bergman, is that now we have a handle on the genes that comprise a universal toolkit for building stomata. Plants apparently use the same common parts, but the ways these parts function and interact with each other are different, which is both interesting from a discovery science perspective and could be harnessed to improve growth performance in grasses that humans use for food or fuel. The research is published in Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Carnegie scientists redefine the pursuit of what's possible for us, our planet, and our universe. We explore the past to understand the present and inform the future.